Psalm 40 and verse 1 says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. Paul says in Ephesians 2 and 1, And you he made alive, who were dead in trespasses and sins. We were dead. Dead. Meaning no possibility for saving ourselves. No possibility of living righteously, being able to, to live a holy life before God, or be able to save us from the penalty of our sin debt. See, we were born with a penalty attached to us because we are part of a fallen race. We have a fallen seed that has created us. Right? Adam fell in the garden. His seed was passed down to every man, every generation. And that infects mankind. And man is dead in their trespasses and their sins. They can't save themselves. They can't stop doing what's wrong in their own power. But what God did, amen, when God came down from heaven as a man 2,000 years ago and died on that cross, he gave an ability for us to be reconciled with God, for us to have a payment for that sin so that we can live righteously before God, not look for our own deeds and what we've done and our own behavior and things that we've earned from God, but by looking solely to him as the author and the finisher of our faith and what he's done at Calvary and allowing his Holy Spirit to work through that because his Holy Spirit only works through the word. It only works through what Christ did at Calvary. That's it. It's the only way the Holy Spirit works or else God's a liar. If God goes two separate uh, and competing ways uh, into your life, meaning that he will, he will bless two different ways of you approaching him, he's a liar. Right? He said it's the cross and the cross alone. That's, that's his one and only way to get to him, to allow the Holy Spirit to work in your heart and in your life. Right? And when he redeemed you from that pit, when he set your feet on a rock, you're to live like that. Now you've started that life. You've begun that life. You don't move from that rock. You don't go anywhere else. You stay at what uh, reconciled you to God initially, which is the cross, which is the blood of Christ. That was the only thing that could bring us in, and that's the only thing that can keep us in. And as long as our faith stays in that, His Holy Spirit will work in our lives to turn us into who we ought to be.